Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. How are you today, my lovely students? It's English class, and today we have a new lesson. But before starting our lesson, let's read the day and date. So today is Wednesday, and the date is June three, two thousand and twenty. Our lesson for today is about irregular verbs. So when I say verbs, what is the first thing that will come to your mind? So verbs, everyone, are action words, and verbs tell what we do. For example, eating, running, playing, crying, shouting. Can you help me to say more verbs? Yes, you are wonderful. But in the lesson of today, we are going to talk about irregular verbs. So irregular verbs have special past tense forms. They don't end in D or ED. You will need to memorize these special forms. So what does this mean? We're gonna explain this in the lesson of today. So everyone, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to identify the irregular verbs in sentences. And here is a video about past tense irregular verbs. So watch the video and come back to continue the lesson. By the way, you can find the video in the description below. So everyone, in the past tense, we usually talk about the things that happened yesterday or before yesterday or last week, last month or last year, right? So we're talking about something that happened in the past. And to show that this action happened in the past, we need to change the form of the verb. So most of the time, we add ed or d to the end of the verb, right? So let me give you an example. So let me write an example over here. I played with my friend last week. So, as you can see, I changed the form of the verb and I added ed because I am talking about something that happened in the past. But today, we're gonna do something different. We will not add ed to the end of the verb when we talk about something that happened in the past. So everyone, I know it's easy to add ed to the end of the verb when you're talking about something that happened in the past. But this type of verbs, or let me say the irregular verbs, uh, need more effort from you because you need to memorize these special forms. So let's read these together. Okay, so here in the present time and here in the past time. So come, came, run, ran, hide, hit, give, gave, sing, sang, sit, sat. And here we go everyone, task number one. I want you to get your grammar booklet and to open page 91. Write the day and date and let's start. Okay, so here we're gonna choose the verb that shows the past tense. And remember, the verb will be irregular. So we're not gonna add ed, but we can go back to the, okay, 
the table over here and check the past tense or the verb I mean in the past tense we ran along a path yesterday we came to a fallen tree animals hid near the tree a squirrel ran away from us a mouse came out of his home a raccoon hid inside the tree and now let's move to finish task number two so I want you to complete page 92. Write the day and date and let's get started. So change the words in the bold print to past tense. Write the new sentences on the line below. Native Americans give us stories about nature. Native Americans gave us stories about nature. They sit around fires and told stories. They sat around fires and told stories. Sometimes they sing the stories. Sometimes they sang the stories. Some stories give reasons for the things in nature. Some stories gave reasons for things in nature. Children sit quietly during the stories. Children sat quietly during the stories. So everyone, I want you to pay attention. Look over here. So in each sentence, there is a verb. And the verb in the bold print is in the present. And here we changed it into the past so we changed the verb into a new form I mean when we use the verb in the past tense so give gave sit sat sing sang give gave sit sat so we call these verbs i mean in the past yeah in the past tense we call them irregular verbs and the last thing that we are going to do for today okay is to complete part b from page 91 of your grammar booklet so write a sentence of your own using a past tense verb you can go back to the table over here choose one of these verbs okay in the past tense and then write a sentence have a great day everyone bye